So I think Deputy Kenny is five minutes. Uh, thank you, uh, Alaska and Corla. The Social Welfare Bill 2012 gives uh, effect to um, a number of significant social protection measures and improvements. Firstly, there is the increase in the monthly rate of child benefit, which I welcome. Ireland as a nation is now coming out of the serious economic crisis that it faced over the past number of years. While things are still quite tough, the government is able to give back some of what has been lost, and part of this is the restoration of child benefit, bringing the current rate from 130 to 135 euros per month with effect from the, from the 1st of January 2015. This also provides that in the case of twins, the monthly rate for child benefit will increase from 195 per child to 202 euros 50 cents per child. And while in the case of three children or more, the monthly rate of child benefit will increase from 260 per child to 270 per child per month with effect from January 2015. In addition to the measures in the monthly rate of child benefit being provided in this bill, Budget 2015 also announced the introduction of a new back-to-work family dividend to provide an additional incentive for families to move from welfare to work. The details of this are being developed and the required legislation is expected to be introduced um, by the end of March so that the back-to-work family dividend can commence uh, in April 2015. There are further measures provided for in the budget. One of these is the increase in the living alone allowance, effective from January 2015, and the payment of a Christmas bonus of 25% to certain social welfare recipients in early December 2014. And this can be legislated for by the way of regulations and um, by, by the Minister for Social Protection in advance of these dates. Other social protection measures which were announced in Budget 2015 relate to non-statutory schemes and do not require any legislative amendments, and these are the new water subsidy of €100 Euros per annum for all recipients of household benefit package and for all recipients of the fuel allowance who do not already receive the household benefit package, and the doubling of the number of employees supported by Jobs Plus from 3,000 to 6,000. There is also the provision of additional funding of 12 million in 2015 for the introduction of a new employment service known as JobPath and an additional annual funding of 2 million euros for the school meals program. Another element of social protection provisions uh, in 2015 is the introduction of an amendment to the bill which will retain the weekly earnings disregard for working loan parents who are in receipt of one parent family uh, payment at its current level of 90 euros under the uh, one parent family payment scheme, the first 90 euros of a person's weekly gross income is disregarded. This means that a person can earn up to 90 euros per week and qualify for a full one parent family payment. This amount was intended to fall to 75 euros per week next year and to 60 euros per week in 2016. This is now not going to happen because uh, economically Ireland is doing much better and such cuts are no longer needed. And I think this is a further example that we are coming to the end, uh, thankfully, of, of austerity. Some 28,000 working loan parents who are currently getting a one-parent family payment from the Department of Social Protection will benefit from, from this measure in 2015 at a cost of €8 million Euros per annum. Budget 2015 has also recognised the role that older people have played in the recovery of our economy. <coughs> Christmas can be a time of financial strain for many families. And Budget 2015 has secured a Christmas bonus payment of 25% for all people on long-term social welfare payment, including pensioners. This payment will benefit over 1.16 million people. Under Budget 2015, the living alone allowance will increase by 130 per week, bringing the rate up to 770 euros to 9 euros per week. This is the first increase in this payment uh, since 1996 and will benefit over 170,000 people. And I think, again, that uh, is an indication that we are moving out of the era of austerity. I particularly welcome the, um, the, the, the 0 0.6 pension levy, which was introduced to help fund the jobs initiative. It played an important role in the positive jobs trend, with 72,000 new jobs created since the peak of the crisis in 2012. The 0 0.6 pension levy will end in 2014, and the additional 0 0.15 pension levy will expire at the end of 2015. Uh, the Irish economy is down, doing better. We are still not out of the woods, of course, but there is a definite and tangible improvement in the finances of the state. And I think it's only right that this upturn is reflected in how people are supported by the provision of social protection. Uh, and th uh, I think that means really that we are stopping planned cuts uh, that were previously envisaged 
and increasing payments where possible. It also means restoring some of the cuts that were made previously, and I think this process will continue. I commend the bill to the House.